welcome back to my youtube channel you can probably tell from the title of this video we will be diving in to the books of summer 2023 what no that's not how it goes what does my script say books i'm reading this summer so um starting off with the books that i have already read first is i'm glad my mom died by janet mccurdy i really love this book and as someone who has grown up watching iCarly when i was younger it's really surprising to see a different perspective or a side of the story and it's just shocking really and it it's just good to say that you know you really cannot judge somebody whether they're an actress or they're just someone you know you just really cannot judge you should not judge first of all never judge anybody okay it's made me like see her differently and in a good way obviously i finished this book in like two days because one i just really love reading other people's business <laughs> But on a serious note though, like I personally like um, the way it was written and if you're planning on buying this book, you definitely should because it's worth it. The second one on my list is It Starts With Us by Colly Hoover. I read the first book, It Ends With Us, and I loved, I loved that book. Now this book, the second book, I loved it but it's not my favorite and before i even read this book and bought this book i've seen a lot of people say that it's really disappointing and they were they were like colin hoover you could do so much better this is really disappointing but when i read the book and especially the note at the beginning colin wasn't even planning on writing a second book she really thought that the first book was enough but because a lot of people were begging literally begging for a sequel understandably so they just wanted to see atlas and lily having a happy ending and she delivered i personally think she did now i'm not gonna lie there were some parts in the book where it's like okay this is a little bit dragging but what is this why is this even here you know but I still liked it, but I do agree. Like it ends with us, should have ended there. You know, <laughs> you got you gotta hear what people want. But it's just really weird that the people who were asking for it were the one who was disappointed. Because like I don't know what else you were expecting. Because she really did deliver a happy ending for Atlas and Lily. Next on my list is Malibu. Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love Taylor. She is amazing. Like I have bought three of her books already. Um, the Seven Husbands, Daisy James, and this one. This book I finished in like two, three days. It's really good. Her writing style. I really like how the way she writes, and I like how she incorporates like other characters that she have written like Carrie Sato. It's such a good tactic to make other people buy your other books. Because now after reading a bit about Carrie Sato, I'm like, I need to buy that book about Carrie Sato now because like what I need, I need to know, I need to get into this multiverse that taylor jenkins had created and it's so so interesting and if you're asking which ones are my favorites so far number one is daisy jones i just love daisy jones have you seen the series oh my god it's so good the cast was so good it's insane my second one would be seven husbands and this is the last one i i just really liked it um it's really good oh my gosh there's a pimple on my forehead Oh, that's really painful. Anyways. Now, last on my list is Bunny by Mona Allard. 
I have been trying to find this book everywhere. Every time I look up on water sales, they're always out of stock. And I'm like, when is this book gonna come back? Now, usually when I buy books, I try to look for them in treasure shops or Depop or um, Vinted. But obviously treasure shops is really unlikely. Like the chances are zero. Um, <laughs> well, not really zero, but like 0.5. <laughs> and the ones on Depop and Vinted, I really couldn't find one at that time when I was trying to look for one. And if they did have one, it's always like unexplainably expensive. They charge it with the original price despite it being used. And when I say used, I mean like the spine being cracked already, folded pages and like creases on the book covers and all that stuff I keep seeing them like charge it with the original price and i'm like why what's the point of buying a used book with the original price than buying just buying it from a bookshop like i'd rather buy the new one instead you know what i mean so but anyways i ended up buying the new one now people were lying <laughs> when they said the book was weird i posted an instagram story about this book and i want to read my thoughts about that book you could go to my instagram and just read read about that on my highlights but yeah the author did a great job in trying to um, portray weirdness in a book it's just good and if you're into like the secret history by donata i feel like you'd enjoy this one and especially if you're into like the the satirical commentary on like prestigious like schools especially the pretentious type of like students yeah, I feel like you'd enjoy Bunny. Now, moving on to the books that I have started but haven't finished. First on the list is The Parasite by Daphne du Maurier. Now, if you have seen my previous book video, which I made last summer, I was reading this and surprise, I have not finished it. I didn't bring this book with me to uni, so... I don't even remember where I last left it off in the middle. Um, I don't remember much. You know, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finish it this summer. I promise that. The next two books was Atonement and Clockwork Orange. I started reading these books way before summer, like around springtime, I'd say March-ish and it was around the time where i was kind of busy with uni work and i was just stressed just overall stressed and their writing style it isn't overwhelmed me a bit like i was like i could not focus uh, i big words i couldn't not today but you know i had to say aside but i definitely pick it up this summer i feel like yeah now that's it for the unfinished books, the last category would be the books that I would be reading and yeah, let's get into it. The next on the list is Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers. I have been meaning to read this book for so long and I finally had it. This is the, the book that I'm going to be reading next because I finished Malibu Rising yesterday so this one is on the list. I just feel like, you know, this is such a summer book. You get what I mean? Yeah, I'm so excited. I, have, I don't really know what this is about, but I'm excited. I am what I want to see. The next on the list would be The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. Funny story on how I got this book is that one time I went to town to buy some tape measure, tape measurement, because I had to measure my circumference of my head, because guess what? Yeah, girl is graduating this year. I had to measure my head for the cap, the graduation cap. And I was like, yeah, let's pop down the charge shop because I haven't been in a while. And I'm really convinced I'm going to buy anything because I was like, no, I have to take a break. And, I mean, it's not like I've been buying a lot anyways, but I, I wasn't really planning on buying anything. But I went to the bookshop and wham, the goldfinch in all its glory. I was like, oh, I need to buy this. I snatched it off the shelf and I was like, yes, this is my baby. <laughs> I've been wanting to read this one as well. So I'm so happy. <laughs> The next one is City of Girls. Again, if you've seen my previous book video from last summer, that one was on my list as well. 
again i have no idea what it's about but i just bought it because i wanted to and i am excited to read it yeah so the last one on my list i'm not sure if this is the correct title because i didn't google it first before doing this but it's the violet bent backwards over the green green grass by lana del rey miss lana del rey i have not read this book yet this is a poetry book by the way so i think this is her first poetry book i'm not sure but i'm excited to read what's in it i was so i don't know i might be biased because i love lana del rey but yeah i can't wait so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed reading of reading <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching this video and let me know if you guys are more interested for like book video stuff because you know i do love reading and yeah let me know what's on your summer reading list in the comment section below and let me know what's your favorite book of the year so far so yeah i'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye.